All right, welcome back. Uh, problem 17, week number one. Uh, the diagram below shows tangent TP, right? T to P, which means this angle right here formed by OP and TP, radius and a tangent line always make a 90. So that'll be a 90 there. Let me note that here. Okay, this angle here will be 90. Okay. Um, now, with that being said, let's look at, let me erase that. Uh, the circle has a center of O and a radius of R. The size of angle POA is theta radians. Find the angle, the area of triangle AOP in terms of R and theta. Okay, so now you should be thinking, okay, what formulas do I have available to me for area of a triangle? Well, you've got half base times height. And you've got half uh, side, side, sine of an angle, right? And I'm given, I'm given, uh, if I'm looking at this triangle, AOP, I'm given that that's R and that's R and this is theta. So to have this, the area of the triangle in terms of r and theta, I get everything I need if I use this second equation. So the area of triangle AOP will be 1 half side times side times sine of the angle in between. And now I have the area of triangle AOP in terms of r and theta. All right, there you have it. So let's move on. It says now in part B, find the area of triangle POT, right? Now it's our, our right triangle here in terms of R and theta. Okay, so now I'll use uh, the second formula. And what I want to do is I want to find base and I want to find height in terms of R and theta. Well, if we consider uh, this length here to be our base length, then this length here will have to be our height. So we gotta find a way to put that in terms of theta and r. So now that we know that this angle here is 90, we could say that the tangent of theta is equal to h over r. Therefore, h, our height, is equal to r tan theta. So as we write the equation for the area, of triangle POT, we would have one half the base, which is R, times the height, which is R tan theta. Mind the uh, poor handwriting on that, but we would have R squared tangent theta over two. All right, so let's take a look at these two different uh, area formulas. Clearly, um, the second one, area of triangle POT, is larger than the area of triangle AOP. So now what they're going to want us to do here, probably apply that to something else. It says, using your result in A and B, show that sine theta is less than theta is less than tan theta. So the last thing I want to do, a comparative area on, and then we're going to do some reducing, is this sector here. And notice that the area of that sector would be greater than the area of the blue triangle, which would be less than the area of the, uh, I think we had a green triangle. All right, now let's write out the formulas for each of those. So that'd be r squared sine theta over 2. And for the green one, that was r squared tan theta over 2. And a sector, its area is always theta over 2 r squared. All right, so if I had theta over 2 r squared, Notice what I can drop out of all three of these. I can, I can just reduce out an r squared over two, and hence I am left with sine of theta 
less than theta, less than tan theta. And there you have it. Uh, that's problem 17. I hope it made sense. If it didn't, for whatever reason, please let me know. Let's chat.